Let's get a bit tidy and get home for a bunch of hand tools. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I have too many scrap pieces and boards around here and decided to build this tool cabinet to get rid of some of them. The cabinet has to be quite slim because of the space that I have available on the wall, so I'll make it a little tall to actually have room for all the tools. The materials used here are 21mm birch plywood that is strong and rigid and 8mm Valkermat that is kind of a high quality MDF that I happen to have available in grey. If you can, I recommend using a thicker material for the back and the doors, at least 12 millimeters or half inch. I added a space for a shallow drawer and a shelf on the bottom and created two grooves to insert the shelves. My main goal besides using leftover material was to make this quick and easy so I haven't used any fancy joinery on the frames. I but jointed everything with glue, nails and screws to reinforce. For the doors, I didn't use screws because I didn't want holes on the front of the cabinet but the glue and nails will be more than enough to hold the amount of weight that I'm placing on each door. I wanted to make sure the shelves were the correct length and simply hammer them. As they were so snug, no glue was necessary. It was time to connect the components and I got two piano hinges that are super strong and easy to apply regardless of the crazy amount of screws needed. This project can be completed in one day, although it took me two full days with all the filming and thinking and decision making on the run. I plugged all the screw heads with the grey MDF and gave it two coats of water-based varnish. Here I was making the drawer, again simplest way I could find that allowed me to have a nice looking piece. I took a lot of time arranging the tools and finding nice spots for them and finally made specific holders for some of them. 
I changed my mind a few times, but the final placement seems to be working. A lot of them are just hung by magnets that I protected with gaffer tape so the tools don't get scratched and some strong double sided tape on the back. In order to open the left door, it needs to be hung higher than the router table top, so nothing better than the router table itself to help with the hanging. I screwed it to the wall and started filling it up with some goodies. On the next day, I thought about making two simple aluminum poles, so I cut the strip to size and sanded to get a brush matte finish. To bend the edge, I made a quick jig I've seen on a channel called Scrapwood City, and here's the link to that video. This aluminum is 1mm thick, for your reference, and it bent quite nicely. The result was super satisfying, I must say. I also didn't want any screws, so I applied strips of the super strong double sided tape to hold them in place. I wasn't very pleased with the silver contrast, so I painted just the front edges black. As there are so many rare earth magnets inside, I can hold paper or other things outside if I want to. Let me tell you about Squarespace, the sponsor of this video. Squarespace is an awesome platform where you can get domains, create your own website and online store. You can start your own business in just a couple hours with their award-winning templates and have it looking great and super professional. Really, I started using Squarespace for my website and store some months ago and I love it mostly because all templates look amazing and it is so friendly to use. If you ever have an issue, their 24-7 customer support will take care of it super fast. And don't ask me how I know that. Everything is intuitive and there's nothing to install, patch or upgrade ever. So get ready to make your next move and go to squarespace.com slash to get a free trial and 10% of your first purchase.
So there you go, the project is finished for now, I will correct anything I find inconvenient during the usage, but so far it looks great, and the drawer is so cute. Thank you so much for watching, and a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and Squarespace, and go get your hands dirty, and tidy, boom!